Hi, Robert Trewick here. We have a new product from Interfit. We're going to do a quick open box just so you can see what's inside the box and kind of give my initial thoughts of it. Um, if you're watching this video, then this has been announced already and it's August 2017. So get ready for the new, the one and only Honey Badger from Interfit Photographic. The laughing in the background is everybody else watching me. We're actually on a shoot today, uh, setting up. We're actually going to use the Honey Badger lighting system in with some other units that Interfit Photographic has, like the S1, the 360s, our TLI flashes. We're going to be using probably a lot of those to do our charity calendar this year. So it's going to be awesome. Um, so let's go ahead and dig right into the Honey Badger. Now, what is the Honey Badger exactly? Besides being a very ferocious animal, I really wanted to get one to do the photo shoot with the announcement of the Honey Badger. And I was told that I was completely out of my mind that this thing is quite a nasty little animal uh, that has been known to take down much larger animals because of how aggressive it is. So we're digging the name so far. So the Honey Badger is an AC powered studio unit, very small, compact, digital control, 320 watts of power. So it's pretty awesome. Um, it's a one second recycle time at full power, which is pretty awesome too. You are plugged into the wall. It has a seven stop range and this box, the way it's sold, includes their pop-up softbox. So basically all you need right now is a stand and some power and you're ready to go, okay? The trigger is sold separately that kind of will link to the Interfit system along with the S1 unit and the S1A and some other units that are coming out in the future, so stay tuned for that. But you can also fire this with a off-brand trigger and plug into the back of the seat cord the way a lot of the people do. So, uh, box is pretty well packed. It uh, is distributed in the UK and the United States. So let's open this thing up and see what we have. Ah, well, we have the Honey Badger Instruction Book. And looks like we get two extra fuses as well. So we can open this up and take a kind of a gizmo. And I think they're still in the background setting up so we can kind of run through this pretty quick and we'll try to do some behind the scenes videos. Looks like really simple. Simple four page little pamphlet. The back page doesn't have much of some information on it. And uh, we will probably take a look at this later on if we have any questions on this unit. Now I've known about this unit for a little bit of time, but I just finally got my hands on one. Oh, looks like we've got some pretty good foam. Wow, that's always important. And here it is. Here is the honey badge. It's pretty compact. The really cool thing that I love about this is the LED model light as well as it has the Bowen S mount compatibility, which is my favorite mount and one of the reasons I love the Interfit lights, as well as you can see how large this ring is. So you can attach their soft box that comes with the unit very easily on the front and you're ready to rock and roll pretty quick. So there's a back of it, it's all digitally controlled, so I think that's a pretty awesome thing. So this comes in yellow. However, if you're looking for um, a red unit, uh, like most Canon photographers like to have, they like to have the, uh, the red unit because it makes their light so much sharper with their Canon cameras, uh, be sure to reach out to Steven at Interfit and uh, let, ask him when the red ones will be released. So uh, his email address is Steven at InterfitPhotographic.com, uh, as well as you can reach out to Danielle at InterfitPhotographic.com. Uh, both amazing people, they will answer all the emails and questions about the new special edition Red Honey Badger coming out very, very soon. Okay, so yellow, great color, very easy to see in the studio. Probably one of my favorite colors because it's Nikon yellow. That doesn't mean this will not work with other cameras. It'll work with all other cameras. It's a manual studio light for studio. Very compact, very lightweight and uh, very well built. This, uh, this body looks like it could really take a beating and keep on kicking. So we're going to try that out. So let's see what else we have in here. We have a really nice foam holder where it was shipped in. So I recommend that you hold on to these and use this to put into your other harder cases. So that way you can drop your honey badgers directly in here when you pack up. Just like that, you could probably put three of these pretty easily. 
uh, into a hard case or a soft case, and that way it kind of holds them and gives them a little bit of uh, little bit of cushion the way to travel. So what else is inside the box? So it looks like we have this special black box. We'll put the honey badger over here to the side. Open this up. It's like it's like Christmas. And inside we have obviously our mains cord, which is our AC power cord. Looks to be pretty long, and it's really nice and flexible. I know this is probably something a lot of people don't look at, but some of the uh, studio light companies that produce out there have some really, really thick, heavy-duty uh, cords, and they're just a real pain to roll up. This right here looks like it's very flexible, easy to roll up. I like these a lot. Oh, and we have a PC sync port. So if you do have a PC connection, Paramount port connection on your camera, you can go ahead and use one of these right away. So you wouldn't even need to have a radio trigger if you didn't want one. The radio trigger for this is already built in to work with the interface system, but you can always use the little cord that comes with it, or you can connect your own wireless trigger to the unit. So I'm gonna imagine this is the soft lock, soft box that the interface is including with the Honey Badger, and uh, I'm afraid to open this thing up, to be honest with you. Okay, so we have a diffusion panel. So let's see if this thing doesn't kill me. You guys ready? So it's like a magician. One, two, three. Whoa! Okay, so that was really, really kind of scary. If you're not careful, that will definitely hit you in the side, and it will probably knock an eyeball out. So be very careful when you open this up. I wonder if that's in the instruction card. So this opens up very easily to turn into a very large, rugged, spring-loaded soft box. Here's your diffusion panel you can add to it. And then this whole thing goes right on the honey badger built in. Right. Just kind of goes right in. Like this. The first time I'm trying this, so give me a break. Oh, oh my god. Look at that. That is a pretty sturdy attachment right there. I'm not sure if the video can see the whole thing, but like that's on there pretty good, very easy to turn if you want to have the light come a different way. So that is pretty awesome. Now, of course, you guys have seen some of the other videos I have done about folding up reflectors that almost killed me. So let's give that a try and see what happens. And I'm sure that Steven at Interfit Photographic is going to have some new videos coming out on the proper way of folding our tri-side box softbox. Let's see if we can do this. This is pretty, uh, the spring is really tough. Oh my god. Uh, that wasn't too bad. If you'd like to see that again, it's very easy. Hit pause now and rewind because I'm not doing this again. It's going to be pretty hard enough it is to get inside the box. So let's put that back inside here. There we go. Set that up. And that should secure that from popping out and hitting one of the models in the face. So there's you go, there's your Interfit Honey Badger. Very aggressive girl. Built-in radio, 320 watts. Great kit. Plugs into the studio uh, power. And uh, I think it's a great unit. Can't wait to get this thing out and try it out. Let's uh, take off the camp. Uh, frosted bulb with an LED inside. I'm thinking we could use this for LEDs in the sense of like video recording. So we will give this a twirl today doing our photo shoot for our calendar and uh, we'll get back to you really soon.